Thank you for coming back to We the People News. Please subscribe, please leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, cryptocurrency of any kind that you may see in my comments with a picture of me and a variation of my name. Please know that that is not me. That is a scammer. If you don't see the little check mark beside my name, it is not me. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, please go back and watch it. There's a lot of good stuff in that video I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot here on YouTube. And I will link that at the end of this video. Thank you so much. Y'all, it looks like uh, Russia has uh, started their invasion of the Ukraine, and we will talk about that later. But first, we got problems here in the United States that I feel is more important to us. So we're going to talk about our problems first. There is some good news. Uh, and I should have said it on my thumbnail. I don't know why I didn't. But there is good news and we've got some bad news. But we're going to cover this good news first. And this is good news for a lot of people. Senator, Republican Senator Romney has introduced a proposal to get the child tax credit checks coming back but now he does want a work requirement so you have to have a job before you can get these checks if you remember the work requirement is the part that Joe Manchin wanted so now that Ramsey has this proposal as a standalone bill it has a very good chance of being passed they need 10 Republican votes, and right now it looks like they have it. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with Nancy Pelosi's statement two weeks ago when she said she will not do standalone bills, even if Joe Biden tells her to. So we'll have to wait and see what happens on that. But it's looking good for the child tax credits. For this child tax credit, you will need to have a job if it's passed the way this proposal states. The income cap for it would be $200,000. So if you make $200,000 per year, we the taxpayers will bring your poor, precious, rich children out of poverty. With a cap like $200,000 per year, even the lawmakers, the senators, congressmen, all of them would also qualify for the child tax credit. Do you really think they need it? How, but how do you like that? I mean... If they pass this, they're going to get it too because they're going to get help to bring their kids out of poverty. Y'all, thank you so much for all your support. Please comment. Let me know what you think about this. I think it's just plum crazy. I mean, I agree with the work requirement. I, I, I agree with all of it except for that cap. That cap is way too high. Now for the people that's on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA. It still looks like nothing for this group of people. The group of people that needs help the most. There's still absolutely nothing on the table for them. But I will say with these standalone bills, if they start doing standalones, the chances of these people getting some help, I don't know what help this will be, but the chances of them getting help is a lot better because it's one-offs and people will be watching closely. The midterms is coming up. These politicians need something they can grasp onto to make them look like they're doing a good job. And how will they look if they don't help these people on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA, low income, no income, disabled, 
How will it look if they help everyone except for them come the midterm elections? They've alienated a whole group of people from voting for them. So that's why I believe help for this group of people will be coming. One thing I was thinking, with the Build Back Better bill, we've seen how long it takes for them to get anything done with this bill. And still, nothing is done. The Build Back Better bill is dead, and all that time and money spent on it was just pissed away money. How does that make you feel? That's your money that they're throwing away. So now that it looks like the standalone bills will happen, how long will each item take to get passed? It shouldn't take very long at all because it's one item at a time. But we know how our lawmakers likes to kick the can down the road. They want to make it look like they're helping the American people. Well, in, t in real life, they're really punching holes in our boats trying to sink us deeper into debt and into poverty. There was another bill pro proposal that was introduced to lower the prescription drug cost with a standalone bill. But our wonderful, wonderful lawmakers said no to the proposal unless it's part of Joe Biden's Build Back Better bill. This is how much our lawmakers really care. So you know what we have to do. If they are in office now, come the midterm elections and the 2024 vote, we need to kick their butts to the curb and out of our White House. Okay, we're going to talk about inflation, gas prices, and our border and it's all going to be wrapped up in the same little package okay inflation is because of gas prices going up so high why did gas prices go up so high well it's because joe biden closed our keystone pipeline and gave russia to go ahead to build their own pipeline and then he started begging them to sell more oil to them to us well, OPEC says, no, they will not sell us more. So now gas prices are going up everywhere. And when we had our own supply of gas, we did not have to ask anyone for gas. But now we do because of Joe Biden's little fumble, we'll call it, when he closed our pipeline. Our border... Again, our southern border is wide open, and none of these lawmakers cares. These lawmakers are inviting these people to illegal, illegally cross our border by the millions. But at the same time, the borders in, in Europe, I mean, the, the Ukraine borders, they're so, so important to the United States. It's a shame that Russia is crossing over these borders. But everybody else can cross over ours, and it's fine. Okay, first of all, Russia got to go ahead to build their pipeline, building up their economy, and at the same time strangling our economy when our pipelines got shut down. Now the borders, we're worried about their borders, and the hell with our borders, anyone can come over. How much longer can we endure little Joe Biden? This man needs to go. He's a wart on the ass of America. Okay, now for the Ukraine. I'm sorry, I had to cover our news first because I believe our news is more important. Uh, overnight last night, Russia did start their invasion of the Ukraine. I've seen videos of it. Uh, they're, they're shelling pretty heavy but it's in the non-populated areas. In the populated areas, people still driving to work, going about their own business. The only thing that's different, and the words of the Ukrainian people, 
is everything is normal. The only thing that's not normal is there's no school. So take it for what you will. So President Biden finally got the war that he has been itching so badly to create. And, you know, I'm sure this is not all Joe Biden's fault, but he was the thorn in the side that started this war by all of his negative comments about it and all of his lies about it. I mean, you can only push people so far before they they react, and that is what they've done in Russia and in the Ukraine. Really, that's all I've got on Ukraine and Russia, but I will tell you, I will always put our news first because our news is what matters to us. Uh, if some big something happens in the uh, in Russia and Ukraine, I will give it to you, but it will always be at the end of my videos. Our news is the top importance to me. Y'all, I love you all. Please sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think about all this garbage that's happening right now. And let me know if this uh, child tax credit will help you. I know it will not help the people on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA, the low income, no income, uh, the elderly, the disabled. I know it won't help y'all, and I'm so sorry. I wished I could do something to help you. But it will help these families. Once again, I'm not going to say it's to bring the kids out of poverty because the kids don't get this money in their hand. It goes to the family fund, so it lifts the family out of poverty. I wish they would quit using the kids as a crutch for this thing because it's not about the kids at all. It's about the families that really don't want to work. Y'all, I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our leaders. Say a prayer for everyone that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And be sure and keep Russia and Ukraine in your prayers that they will reach a peaceful agreement. I love you all. Until next time, ciao.